My name is Professor Chris Cooper. I'm Head of Research in the Centre for Sports and Exercise Science, which is in the School of Biological Sciences at Essex. So we get the energy in our bodies from the food we eat and the oxygen gas we breathe in the air. And this oxygen is absolutely vital for enabling us to move, to run, to think, to reproduce, to grow. All requires the energy from the oxygen that we have, that we breathe in. So therefore, ways of measuring the oxygen in the body are really, really important in biology and in medicine. The way we measure oxygen in my research group is to look at the colour of blood. Now, the protein that carries all the oxygen around your body, it's a red protein called haemoglobin. That's inside every single red blood cell. It's why red blood cells are red. When that haemoglobin has got oxygen bound on it, it's bright red. Kind of like a Manchester United colour if you're into football. When that protein loses the oxygen, so when it goes near a cell and the cell consumes the oxygen in order for that cell to function, the colour changes in that haemoglobin protein. It goes to a sort of claret colour, kind of like Aston Villa. So we have a colour change, so we can tell from that colour how much oxygen is in that part of the body. Now, because it's a colour, we can do this non-invasively. That means we haven't got to take, a, take the blood sample out of the body. We can just shine light. Now, many of you who have been to a doctor's surgery or have been ill or you're asthmatic would have had a device put on you called a pulse oximeter to put on your finger. And that measures how bright that pulse of blood that's come from the lung is. And that should be bright red because it should be full of oxygen. What we do at Essex is we don't want to look at the blood that's come straight from the lungs. We want to look at the blood that's in the tissue, deep in the tissue, either in the muscle or in the brain. And to do that, we can't use the colour of blood that you can see, the red colour. We need to use near-infrared light. And that's light of a slightly longer wavelength. And that penetrates deep into tissue, but can still discriminate between the molecule whether it has oxygen on or not. So we can tell how much oxygen is deep in the tissue. One idea that we had how to quantitate, how to absolutely measure the amount of oxygen in the tissue, we had that about 15 years ago. And that was since been developed by a company called Hutchinson Technology in the States. And that company has now used some of the Essex ideas, developed them in its, in its own way, and measures the amount of oxygen on your thumb, in the thumb, in the muscle in the thumb. And the amount of oxygen in your thumb determines how well you're doing in intensive care. So they can track therapy if they can measure that oxygen. And in fact, it's been shown that that measurement itself enables them to both improve patient health care, but also potentially decrease the length of stay in intensive care units. The impact we developed at Essex relates much more to sports science research, looking at the muscle oxygen, deep in the muscle. And obviously your thumb is not very important when you do sport, but the muscle in the leg, the muscle in the arm, these are things, these are powerful muscles that need to have oxygen in them in order to optimise. That system we've used in a number of cases. Perhaps the most interesting is we've used the elite short track speed skaters. And we've looked at the oxygen in their right and their left legs as they go round the circuit. Now the circuit in short track speed skating is really, really tight. So when you're going around, you put a lot of strain, a lot of stress on your right leg. Basically you hang on the right leg and that gets very constricted and has a real lack of oxygen. And we were able to show this lack of oxygen and to show that in the other leg there was plenty of oxygen. And we're starting to use that technology to develop new training methods for those athletes to enable them to perform better. And that's been very important for them. So if you watch any, any TV science fiction show, you'll see somebody like you know, Dr. McCoy in Star Trek waving a magic wand around and understanding all there is to know about a person's health. Now that's science fiction, but what we're trying to do is to make some of that into science fact at Essex. So the vision at Essex is to use invisible light, near infrared light, to monitor what's going on in the body exactly like you know, somebody would do in, 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 a, in a science fiction series, but to make it science fact to make those measurements non-invasively in real time, wirelessly, either for healthcare use or for improving sports performance.